Hello, and welcome to Tuner Tips by Dodderbert. In front of us, we have the E-MNT. This is the 10,000 milliamp hour, super fast, 22 and a half power delivery power bank. You can find these selling on Amazon for $17.97 US dollars. I'll have links below. It's a cool product. It has some false advertising, but we'll go over that. Uh, no big deal. So let's check it out. Here's the box that comes in. Portable charger. What caught my eye was this see-through case. I thought that was pretty nifty. And for 17 bucks, I thought I'd pick it up and see if it's any good. It says it supports 45 watts. I said 22 and a half because I can't test this protocol. And we'll talk about that protocol in a moment. Output, input, nice. It says polymer battery. There you go, the bullet points. Box is pretty simple. More little bullet points. There you go, smart power bank, solve low battery anxiety. <laughs> oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh, on the back here. There you go, you got some information. As you can see, it says capacity 15,000 milliamp hour. Yeah, this product is not that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and unbox it. When I was looking at the listing, it listed it as a 12,000 milliamp hour power bank. And right away, that sounded kind of fishy because I hadn't seen too many of those. <laughs> So I'm looking at it and looking at it, and the way they showed the design, I'm like, that's probably a 10,000. And I was okay buying it then. And then when I received the box, I noticed it said 15,000. It says it on the device as well. Um, yeah. So let's get to it here. Um, of course, I tested it. We'll give you the results. We get instructions. Go over that in a second. We got charging cable and the power bank here. Plastic tray. It comes protected like a sticky film over the whole thing so that's nice all right so yeah it's pretty neat i love this see-through so awesome yeah that's the reason why i got it i wish the batteries were visible but uh they're not so but we'll go over that in a second so let's go ahead i think it's the way you would show it off Hit this button here turns it on there you go you can see capacity awesome uh, let's see, they give you a USB to Type-C. I'd rather would have seen Type-C to Type-C along with this. That would have been nice. Uh, that way you could utilize the 45 watt output. Uh, this, I don't think you can. So, But there's that. And our manual. Again, this is only a $17 power bank. And I'm really happy with the results. Uh, even though there's a lot of misleading capacity prints. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go through it here. There's a description. Um, this output uh, is pretty legit. Um, I'll agree with this 22.5 watt maximum. This 4.5 volts, 5 amps on the output. This is the one that caught my eye, the Huawei protocol output. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, 24 volts at 1.87 amps for 45 watt max. I don't have anything that charges. Maybe that's a phone. I don't have a, a phone that can test that out on. But uh, it does do power delivery just fine. So, and I think that's about it with this little manual. So, that's it. Oh, it's got a little illustration on the back side. There you are. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we're going to do some testing with this thing. We're going to have a little bit of fun. Um, I really like, I like how small it is. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty compact. Let's go over dimensions. Bring this on down. So, we have a length of 3 and 3 eighths of an inch. So, it's pretty compact. We have a width of two and an eighth of an inch. Then we have a thickness or depth of one and a half inches. So it's fairly small. When I saw the size too, I knew right away that this is probably a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. So let's do a size comparison with other power banks in the same caliber. Now, and also when you look at the listing, you'll notice that it shows two uh, lithium polymer cells and it looks like they're 21700s, which I'm guessing they are. So here is a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank by Bonai. As you can see, this is powered by two 21700s, and it's about the same thickness if you look at the battery bank. So the batteries are here, so you can see it's a perfect fit for what I mentioned. So it's only thicker because this extra clear, empty space to show off that circuit board. So we have that 10,000 milliamp hour bank, and then we have another 10,000 that just featured 
This sticks gua, if I'm saying that right. This is power delivery. Uh, it's just bigger, but it's thinner, which is nice. Um, yeah, this does power delivery, which is pretty cool. You just can't see through it. This is like 15 bucks. Um, we'll talk about power delivery on that one. I think this one's almost dead. Yeah, one little spotlight. I haven't charged this forever. <laughs> and then to show you a true 15,000 milliamp hour power bank, that's this Xsense. I reviewed this one quite a while back. Uh, this is powered by uh, three uh, 21700s. There's its, its power delivery mode there. This actually produces uh, more output. But to give you an idea for size, that's a true 15,000. Okay, and the technology hasn't gotten that much better to make it that much smaller for 15,000. Okay. <laughs> Just to store it out there, guys, that right away you can tell this is 10,000. And that's why it's a 10,000 in the beginning. So, cool. All right. And then, of course, I think I have a deck of cards handy. Always a deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves EMT. I don't know. See through power bricks in his hands. <laughs> Powering his suit. Laser hands. <laughs> nice. Anyway, you get the idea. Deck of cards. In case you don't have those power banks. All right. All right, flies away. All right, so we're going to do a lot of demoing here. First, we're going to go over features, and then we're going to do some demos. Pretty awesome, so hang in there. Uh, so right away, this clear, clear acrylic uh, enclosure is pretty cool. On the back side, it has some printing. Uh, talks about um, 45 watts and 1500 milliamp hour, which is the 15 milliamp hour is wrong, but the 45 watts I can't test. So I just had 22 and a half uh, watt, which is pretty good um, for a little power bank like this. And as you can see, it has all the outputs right there printed nice and clear. Total output, if you're using both ports, is 3 amps max. Okay. It does do dual, out, dual charging, it's just going to share. And it's going to drop it down to 5 volts. If you're trying to do power delivery, just do one phone at a time. Okay. So there we are. Awesome. On the front, you can see the PCB. You can see the power converter. You can see it looks like a controller, some protection. You can see the jacks. There's the Type-C jack. There's the USB. Bank of resistors. Of course, our display. So here's the power button. Uh, to turn it on if it doesn't click on. And of course we have a display that shows the battery uh, life and percentage. And then when you hook it up uh, to a device that's using power delivery mode, PD will appear in green, which is really nice. So I like to see that. But it looks like it's put together real well. Uh, it does have four screws here. I took them out. You really can't slide this unit out because somehow it's attached to this piece. And I didn't want to mess with trying to jimmy that out of there. So I'll just leave it. <laughs> But I'm almost sure that's inside this battery tray is two 21700s. So, all right. Uh, so, yeah, at the button, just show you display. The business end here, this is the Type-C jack input-output. Um, super fast charger, gotta love that. Um, so, this jack uh, input, 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, and 12 volts at 1.5 amps. It defaults to 12 volts at 1.5 amps. Um, which is pretty surprising uh, for its input. Most of my uh, power delivery chargers, uh, they charge at 9 volts, 2 amps. It doesn't take the 12 volts, 1.5. So pretty surprised to see that. It's pretty efficient. Uh, its output is 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2.22 amps, 12 volts at 1.6 amps, and then it has that protocol Huawei, I'm saying that right, or Huawei, uh, 24 volts at 1.87 amps, giving it a max 45 watts. So that's that side. And on this side, we have our standard USB out, which is really nice, or Qualcomm 3.0 uh, certified. Plus, it has a little extra power on the side. It does deliver 22.5 watts max with its 4.5 volts at 5 amps. It does, of course, the 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps, and 12 volts at 1.5 amps. And we'll show that in action here in a second. So it does not support through charging. So if I plug in uh, the charger and it's doing power delivery to charge this power bank and I plug in something else to charge over here uh, it drops down to five volts uh, like one amp on the input and then the outputs trying to charge and it starts sagging the voltage starts dropping to like 4.8 4.7 trying to get you know and it's delivering about 300 milliamps so yeah it's it's not good for through charging at all so so I'll let you know no through charging support 
Uh, so yeah, talk about that. Uh, like I said, most likely 221700 cells. So delivery power. So I, of course, take my meter, my ruining meters, which you see me run around with. That's these little blue guys here. Um, and I tested this at a load of about one and a half amps. And I got a total delivered output of a decent uh, for a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank of 6,440 milliamp hours or 33 watt hours at that five volts, one and a half amps out. So not bad for charging low power devices. Uh, of course, that number could go down a little bit if you're going fast charging, but there's that. Um, yeah, so it delivered that. And if you compare it to the one I just reviewed here, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour power delivery. This delivered 6,100 a milliamp hours at 31.13 watt hours and uh, at the same charge rate. Also note that this is 15 bucks versus $17. So you just get a cool looking device for a few bucks more. So you're paying for this enclosure and cool lookness, but you get similar performance. So just want to let you know. And I think it's a cool to have a little compact package like that. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, demo this. So yeah, first thing we'll do is we'll do some output demos. So I like to show let's show it charging uh, power delivery. So that's going to require a little bit of a boosted thing I have over here. I'm gonna just kind of move my lights around. I'm gonna bring this up. It's got a lot in the frame. Let's see how high I can get this. So I have a VC8 Plus by Xstar. And this charger here can support get that out of the way, um, eight batteries at once. These are 18650s. Pretty awesome. And we're going to charge them with this little power bank. Yes, we are. So I'm going to hook up my little Rudy Dang meter so you can see what's going on. Kind of plug that in there. Okay, this is 100%. Sweet. It's going to show our voltages. And we're going to plug the end of this cable into the back here. Now this takes a type C input, five volts, two amps, and nine volts at two amps. So it'll go power delivery. So let's see what it does here. Plug it in. Now it should change. Okay, it did. Went to nine volts. And as it ramps up here, you'll start to see the nine volts starts to increase to compensate uh, for the draw of energy. And also, if you look at the front of the power bank, you'll notice it says PD um, for power delivery. Awesome. So there it is. Now it's yeah, it's pulling nine. It's delivering 9.2 volts at two amps. So it's not sagging at all. So when it knew it was delivering this higher load, it increased the voltage, which I thought another first I've seen on a power bank. Uh, not bad at all. And if we look over here at the X-Star, look at the numbers, you can see that they're all charging relatively near a half amp each on all eight batteries. That's pretty slick. So there's an example of power delivery in action. It's all on the same cable, so you can see it's a long cable. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so there's that demo. Just going to unplug this. Cool. Set that aside. What else can we do? We'll probably just demo it doing two devices. Then I'll demo the input charge. So let's go ahead and grab some devices here. Like I have a radio, Texan PL330. Yeah, this is a good combination. This little bad boy um, delivering the 6400 can charge us about six times, which is fantastic. This has a BL5C battery, which is, you know, a 10 hour, 12 hour runtime. Uh, so you'll get quite a bit by doing this. So we can go ahead and plug it in. The nice thing about this charger, I believe, it doesn't matter which one you plug in first. On some chargers, they're finicky. They want you to charge the, or put your uh, Type-C in first before you plug anything in the USB. But this one here, it balances it pretty good, which I've noticed. So the radio is charging, as you can see. It has a charging indicator. It lit up. It says charging here, lapse time. And there's a little icon showing the battery's charging. So you know that's happening. And then we got this flashlight with a Type-C to Type-C. And we're not going to do power delivery. We're just going to go standard charge rate since it does default to 5 volts. So we'll plug this in. As you can see, it did not stop the charge process of the radio, which is great. And it started charging my flashlight. As you can see, it's hooked up. It's not, a, not photoshopped in. <laughs> a little trickery. So there you go. So it's charging two devices at once. This is pretty handy. Um, flashlight for evening, you got your radio tuned away with. Perfect. Love it. So you got your portable power needs all met with this little guy. I like it. So yeah, that's 
working great. So let's go ahead and unplug it, this stuff here, and we'll go ahead and demo the input, and then we'll do final thoughts on the EMNT. <laughs> I think I just said EMT or something like that. That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, E mount or something like that. I don't know what the heck that's for, but some weird name I found cruising around Amazon. You always find some cool stuff. All right, so we're going to unplug that. Cool flashlight, by the way, through night. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set that off to the side. We'll zoom it on down. We'll do this input charge here, show you what's happening with that. So we're going to bring in, okay, I think my charger's in the way here. Let me move that out of the way. Okay, so we have an extension cord here. Let's get this on the desk. So I got my ruining meter. I'd like to show you like this. There we go. That'd be pretty cool. So I have an X-Star Qualcomm 3.0 charger, which delivers uh, power delivery. So it does uh, up to 12 volts, 1.5 amps. And that's what this will do. So let's go ahead and plug in the input. Let's get some light over here. There we go. See there it ramped up. Now, of course, it's 100% already, but uh, yeah, here we are at 12 volts at 1 amp. Of course, when you're empty, this will pull much more. It'll pull 1.5 amps and get your full 18 watts in, and it charges really fast. I would say about 3-hour charge time, and it's done. It's just absolutely fantastic. And it's using a standard, you know, Qualcomm 3.0 charger, wall charger that can handle the power delivery of up to 18 watts. That's all you need for this device. That's probably all I'll accept either. That's what it said. So there you go. Cool. Numbers don't lie. <laughs> all right, go ahead and unplug this. Nice. All right, of course, yeah, you can see it defaulted back to 5 volts. All right, great. So let's do final thoughts on the EMNT. Oh, it did have a mile number on it. <laughs> if it matters to anybody. Um, let's go ahead and get my color back. And we'll zoom it back down. More that see through action. I just think that's fantastic. Uh, so yeah, I'll have links below to this guy. I hope you like it. Uh, pick one up just because it's fun. And know when you buy it that you're getting a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. No need to complain because 17 bucks sounds about right for what this does and what it delivers. Um, I would recommend it all day long, even though there is like weirdness with the listing. They need to get this figured out and get the markings right. <laughs> you don't need to lie about the capacity. If they put 10,000 milliamp hour, people would still buy it. They'd buy it in droves because it's cool. <laughs> and you're not lying to the public. Um, so, but with me reviewing it, um, yeah, it still gets a thumbs up for me because price is right. It looks fun. It's cool. Power delivered is impressive. Um, I like the output here. Really nice. Got a big truck driving by. There we go. <laughs> he needs one of these. <laughs> you never know when you're in the field. Uh, but yeah, this is just a fantastic little, uh, it's a little dust magnet. But uh, it's just fun. That's why I picked it up. Uh, but definitely rocks out uh, compared to other power banks out there. I know what outperforms this one. This was, I think, around 5,900. Um, they don't even sell these anymore. I couldn't even find them. It's old, old school. This thing has a whole flashlight in it. I think it's micro USB input. Yeah, that's old school. This is the new school. <laughs> so yeah, definitely gets a thumbs up. Awesome. All day long. Yeah, pick it up. And the model number is W something right there. W77. Sweet. But yeah, I'm all for it. Just uh, if this company's watching this video, change your listing to say 10,000. Thank you. And you'll sell a ton still. <laughs> You'll sell them anyway. The price is right. People are smart. They know what they're getting. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like if you did. Two, if you like inexpensive, cool-looking power banks like this, subscribe at the bell icon. I'm on the lookout. I know, was it Shark Geek or Shark Geek or something like that? They make some fancy ones for like 200 bucks. I wasn't going to spend 200 bucks on a power bank like this, you know, for 20,000 milliamp hour. No. Not when I was buying it for $10. <laughs> back in the day um just for a see-through case um but this is cool uh for what this does i really like it for 17 dollars. definitely pick yourself up one you'll have fun like i am and have a really cool device that can charge two devices at once and do power delivery all at the same input and output it's just fantastic all right hope you enjoyed this video if you like this power bank you want to comment just comment below tell me what you think um if you're going to pick one up or not uh, if you think it's worth it let me know all right, guys. 
Take care, and we'll see you in my next video.